Hello friends, welcome to AI Medical School, so in this video, we will start a new subject which is clinical dermatology. But before we getting started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, so hurry up subscribe to it and give the thumbs up, so let's get started. Skin diseases are extremely common, although their exact prevalence is unknown. There are over 1,000 different entities described, but two-thirds of all cases are the result of fewer than 10 conditions. In developing countries, infectious diseases such as tuberculosis, leprosy and onchocerciasis are common, whereas, in developed countries, inflammatory disorders such as acne and eczema are common. Some conditions may be part of normal development, such as acne, others may be inherited, such as Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, still others are part of a systemic disease, such as the rash of systemic lupus erythematosus. The most common skin conditions and those which can be fatal, such as malignant melanoma, pemphigus. We will discuss this in this series. So, skin and soft tissue infections, infections of the skin and soft tissues beneath are common. The majority are caused by the gram-positive coccyx staphylococcus aureus, part of the normal microflora of the skin, and streptococcus pyogenes. Sometimes the infection is introduced by an animal bite or a penetrating foreign body, and in these cases, more unusual organisms can be found. Cellulitis is a spreading infection involving the deep subcutaneous layer and is the most common skin infection leading to hospitalization. It falls into a continuum of skin infections that includes impetigo, superficial vesiculopustular infection in children, folliculitis, multiple erythematous lesions with a central pustule localized to the hair follicles, and carbuncles, abscesses in the subcutaneous tissue that drain via hair follicles. The last three infections are usually caused by Staphylococcus aureus. Firstly, we should understand the structure and function of the skin, then start dermatology diseases discussions. Here beside me, you can see the structure of the skin. The skin is divided into several layers, the epidermis is composed mainly of keratinocytes. Beneath the epidermis is the basement membrane, also known as the dermoepidermal junction. This narrow, multi-layered structure anchors the epidermis to the dermis. The layer below the dermis, the hypodermis, consists largely of fat. Epidermis. The epidermis is the outer layer of the skin, defined as a stratified squamous epithelium, primarily comprising keratinocytes in progressive stages of differentiation. Keratinocytes produce the protein keratin and are the major building blocks, cells, of the epidermis. As the epidermis is avascular, contains no blood vessels, it is entirely dependent on the underlying dermis for nutrient delivery and waste disposal through the basement membrane. The epidermis is composed of layers, most body parts have four layers, but those with the thickest skin have five. The layers are stratum corneum, horny layer, stratum lucidum, only found in thick skin, that is, the palms of the hands, the soles of the feet and the digits, stratum granulosum, granular layer, stratum spinosum, prickle cell layer, stratum basale, germinative layer, now dermis layer. The dermis forms the inner layer of the skin and is much thicker than the epidermis, 1 to 5 millimeters. Situated between the basement membrane zone and the subcutaneous layer, the primary role of the dermis is to sustain and support the epidermis. Layers of the dermis. The dermis is made up of two layers, the more superficial papillary dermis, the deeper reticular dermis. Now hypodermis layer. The hypodermis is the subcutaneous layer lying below the dermis, it consists largely of fat. It provides the main structural support for the skin, as well as insulating the body from cold and aiding shock absorption. It is interlaced with blood vessels and nerves. Now the function of the skin, physical barrier against friction and shearing forces. Protection against infection, chemicals, ultraviolet radiation. Prevention of excessive water loss or absorption. Ultraviolet-induced synthesis of vitamin D temperature regulation. Sensation, pain, touch, temperature. Antigen presentation or immunological reactions wound healing. That's it for now. This is the intro of dermatology. 
and an overview of skin structure and function. From the next videos we will discuss the disease of dermatology, so quickly subscribe to the channel so you can't miss any video, and thank you for watching.